Back in the summer of 2018, I quit my job, packed my bags, and with some dedicated friends, we got to work building my dream, energy independent, 100% solar powered camper van. These are the lost tapes in our new series, showcasing all the details of the Root Del Sol's van build. This is where the journey from Alaska to Argentina began. They all come with one of those Panasonic head units or something. Yeah, it's got a. I think that it was all stock because yours has the same one, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what they came with. Yeah, right. Well, that's nice to be able to access. Though. Yeah. And were you able to put the motor and inverter in off from the top? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, no, top and bottom. Right. Well, I switched a few times between the two mm -hmm. just to test. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this thing. Yeah. Oh, that's it, eh? That's it, nice. So you see the charger is back there. Yeah. Right. I'm like, oh, sorry. Oh, you're right. Nice. Mm -hmm. So this is a parking pole. Right. And they sometimes fail. I have a bunch of those. Yeah, I heard. Charger is over there. Right. So it's cool. It's water cooled. So we'll get away and charge. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a liquid cool charger. Nice. This is an updated axle. Uh-huh. Yeah, but the older ones, I guess they fail. Really? And the other van, I got a bunch of them. Really? Yeah. And I left the transmission with a really low miles on there. Nice. So that's the only thing from the other van, of course, with a wiring harness. Right. Yeah. But that, these are the only two components, the battery and the drive motor. Yeah. Oh, and the heater. The heater is a seven kilowatt heater. <laughs> Not like the, the one that's in yours. Yeah, it's, it's a, much, much bigger. Yeah. Oh, so we got a heater on this thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what kind of rear... That's a different rear end than mine, huh? No, it's exactly the same. It's the same one. It's, it's exactly the same. Thing. I mean, if you want to hook up something else, any other drive, I would not mess with the... No, if, the, well, the only thing I'll possibly do is come in with a different motor right there right. to the transmission. But you don't... I wouldn't even use this transmission because you want to get a higher speed. You use an oil change yeah. of gear ratio. I have some broken ones. You can see yeah. what they look like internally. It's just a gearbox. Yeah, it's a two to one. Yeah, it's nothing. Right. So, I mean, he can even take a, a, a Nissan Leaf and, you know, Brian broke the code on those. Right. So he has Nissan Leafs that a complete, it's a complete setup. He has in a little Geo Metro over there hmm. that he drives. Oh, he, okay, so he's messed around with the Leaf components and, yeah. Yeah, yeah he broke the, uh, he got the, um, well, not the code, but the can messages. He got it to work. Yeah. yeah, okay. Nice. Well, what do you think? Or should we get going and get the title? What do you think? It's up to you. I mean, if you tell me you yeah. want it, then, then yeah. I'll, go, I'll go grab it. Yeah, if you can. Yeah. Driving it for the first time. So we just picked up the new <laughs> Easter. I got to all remember to video everything. Everything's moving so quickly. But uh, Tony just left us with the e-star we've said yes we want it we had a quick look at um some of the mechanics or electrics underneath the the floorboards the vehicle like the there's no dings no dents the vehicle is pristine it's uh i've just driven it a little bit and it's it's pretty righteous pretty righteous i think i think it's a plenty it's a of winner. space back there it's a winner got two keys uh the next bit of complication comes in to registering and insuring the vehicle me being Australian and this being the United States of America, there's bound to be some sort of issue there, but um, we're gonna go see the DMV now. We need to get a trip permit because we wanna take it back to Oregon from California. We're here in um, San Rafael and we're gonna take it back to Ashland, Oregon to you know, put it all together and get working on it. So we're gonna go to the DMV. What's she going to get us, Brett? She's going to get us a trip, I mean, because we're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. Legally, we're going to trip <laughs> here in California. <laughs> Back into the E-Star. Just got a message from Tony. What did he say? Just picked up the title. He's got the title? 
Tony's got the title and we are on the road again. It's rush hour, so. Oh, he's gonna be a while. Let's go try that charging station. We're gonna go try charge the van because apparently it doesn't work. So we've got we got one thing sorted out and now we're gonna go try sort the second thing out and maybe then we'll work out where we're sleeping tonight. Keep coming, straighten up. All right, stop. We're good. You did a good thing. I did a good thing. You did a good thing. Look at that beautiful vehicle. Look at that thing. That is the most expensive vehicle I ever bought. And now we're about to see whether it will. Oh, mine, you gotta let it shut down before you plug in. We gotta let it shut down before we plug it in. Oh, I found the charging station thing. It's on, it's on, it's on my side. I haven't even licked that again. You should lick it. You should oh, lick. It's very, much, much nicer than mine. It's Mine's much. Like not as nice. We're about uh, ready to try a charge point, a uh, charging station on this bad boy to see if it'll work because this is not necessarily made for them and there needs to be a little uh, handshake they call it between the two. In other words, the, the charging station, you know, they vary. They have different uh, amperage levels available so if uh, it needs to tell the vehicle, hey, don't pull too much out of me or you'll flip my breaker. You know, flip my breaker. So we're gonna flip its breaker, we're gonna plug it in, and we're gonna see whether we're in business or not. Because if we're not in business, we have a problem. Until we can put solar panels on this thing, we're not gonna be able to charge it. All right, E-Star just shut down. Whoop. We're coming back over here to our J2 something or other plug. I forget the name. Charge Brett's, points, level Brett's, two. Brett has to tap his, uh, his app, like an application of some sort. What is it? Charge yeah, point. it just senses the station at hand and lets you go click here in a second and click click Boom first time I plugged the well he plugged it in but first time I ever saw one of those things plugged in How did it go? Um, well nothing yet. Take two Take three Take three. Oh. So unfortunately for us, right now, this situation isn't looking so good. We've just given it three goes. We have an EV vehicle that won't charge at the moment, which is not great, seeing as though we just bought it. Well, it's not uh, compatible with the charging station, so it has to only be its its signal. Most likely it's the handshake or the, uh, the communication between the charger um, on the vehicle and the power source, which kind of needs to sense both in both directions a little square wave which says that it's available to give so many amps so maybe it's not getting a square wave at all or it's getting a, a signal which is drawing too much for the station and the station's saying uh-uh something like that we'll figure it out we thrive off adventure at ev the americas and what's the what's your shout out quick shout out for you out <laughs> <laughs> Brett doesn't do shout outs, that's Kara, his wife. No, I did a shout out. She's the shout out. Oh! Maybe that's here. So, this is the first time I'm ever going to drive an e -Star, which is mine. It just doesn't have the vehicle transfer. Uh oh. Now what did you do? I think I fucked it up. <laughs> what happened was you got up. Oh baby. Oh baby! Oh my lord! I'm about to drive. <laughs> I feel the earth move from under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down on top of me. Oh fuck, these two of you now. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. This is the first time I've ever driven an E Star, so I'm just talking shit as I normally would. And <laughs> I think we're making good film here. <laughs> Brett doesn't trust me. I don't trust anybody. Brett, Brett doesn't. Behind the wheel. Brake. How do I turn it off? You don't. And you just let it go. So this is the the AC motor that goes inside of the E Star, right? If I'm correct. Yes, indeed. So that's what's in my E Star. It's a Zytec zero two zero zero two one one two. Opening the battery pack. This is a Gen One E Star battery pack. And these are the cells. Looking modules. somewhat clean. Oh, the modules. Sorry. The modules with the cells. And How's that feel? Good. I own an E-Star now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Tony's actually been really helpful, but he doesn't. He's a bit camera shy. He doesn't want to be on the. On the he's field. been very helpful, and he has a lot of parts for us Lots if we might parts. need them. He keeps trying to give us parts, and we're like, we don't have anywhere for them to go, Tony. Although we did get a spare. We got a spare tire. A spare drive shaft. He wants to give me some windows for it. A I'm spare motor. Smash a window. If I don't smash a window on this journey, then right, it's not really success, okay. is it? All right. That, that's it. That's what I take. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony. We appreciate okay. it. Can't see anything because it's so All dark. Right. Let's go. It's like 12 at night and we're deciding whether that is full or not. Well, you're deciding. I don't think it is, but whatever. <laughs> Joel says okay. uh, he has no idea because... We got to go 104 miles. We so. got to go 104 miles. This thing has about 110 miles range, fully charged, possibly if you don't go up hills. But I guess if you go up hills, you got to go down them and you get some regen. But not nearly the... You're not going to get it back. You don't get it fully back. But I think that we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it? Right? 104 miles? It's your, it's your car. i got to drive it just for insurance purposes. <laughs> but it's your decision. It's my decision. I say, let's let Tony go to sleep and... Yeah, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And, and get on the road. Bye-bye, Tony! But uh, we're on our way to... What town are we going to, Brett? We're going to try to make it to Williams. We're trying to make it to Williams. Granzellas. Granzellas. We're trying to make it to Williams. We're getting to a hotel that has a EV charging station that we're pretty sure will work on this van because it's worked on Brett's Easter. We are at 101.4 miles with over a quarter of a tank to go. It makes all of our qualms and queries and questions and conundrums seem minuscule right now wondering why we ever were worried but we were worried for good reason um, this being our first trip in the new van and not knowing its real range I think uh, we we're very right to sort of be questioning how far we'd actually get um, and now we know and we made it now we have to test this plug to see whether it works or not so there we go there's our final figures um, 106.3 miles, I guess we could call it 110 at least, with over a quarter of a tank left, so... Joel has got a good vehicle. A good, it's a great vehicle. That does what it's supposed to do, plus a little bit. We have one last conundrum to pass up here. I'm about to plug the J172222 plug in and we're gonna see if it charges before we go to bed. So, here goes nothing. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> this is actually here we go. Oh, fuck, get it in, Joel. Oh, it broke. Oh, what? No yes. way, no way. <laughs> it's charging, it's charging, it's charging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's fucking going. Look at that shit! <laughs> let's go to bed. Let's, <laughs> no, let's go party. <laughs> let's go party! Let's do some tequila shots. Now let's mark the time. We're at 3 o'clock. 3.08. Okay. Yeah, so... What's that? 5 p.m. tomorrow it should be done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 5 p.m. tomorrow it should be done. Oh, I'm so stoked that's charging. Okay. We are happy cookies. My hair doesn't say so, but I am actually quite happy right now. Car's charging, we made a hundred and something miles, and I gotta turn this camera off because I'm ready for bed. It's 3.30 in the morning, and the guy at the desk was a dick. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'll speak to you all tomorrow.